Hi guys, today I just want to briefly talk about my opinions on repeating content. I'm going to talk about the topic from several different perspectives. I will talk about what I see as the differences between re-listening to and rereading content. Then I will move on to my thoughts on the efficiency of repeating content. Lastly, I will talk about what I feel is the importance of preference when it comes to this topic. And then share with you what my preferences are and what I recommend you to try. Before we begin the video proper, I feel that I should say that in the latter parts of today's video, we will only be talking about this topic as it relates to listening. But first, I just want to touch on what I feel is the main difference in the benefit one gains when re-listening to content versus re-reading content. Firstly, I feel that reading is a much easier task than listening. You can take your time, there are no different accents or voices when reading. You can more easily look up words that you don't know among various other things. And while there are benefits to rereading books in your target language, such as solidifying your knowledge of not only vocabulary and grammar patterns found within a certain book, but also to help you build familiarity with the author's style as well, which can certainly have positive effects on your expressiveness in your target language. And of course, you will certainly continue to acquire new vocabulary when rereading a book, particularly when you're still new at a language and didn't understand everything the first time you read it. However, I feel that listening is a skill that benefits more from repeating content because words, ignoring font and other particularities are written the same way in all written works containing those words. But when listening, Although all native speech shares the same basic sounds, the quality of those sounds can vary wildly. Someone might speak with a southern twang in a film. Around here, we like to drink beer. Sometimes we get three sheets to the wind. You might talk with an old man with a raspy voice. You need help? Uh, no, no, and I'm fine, thank you. And you might watch some anime with characters with very eccentric voices. <laughs> I could go into a great deal more about the nuances in the differences I see between reconsuming listening content and reading content, but we simply don't have the time for that. But I hope you get the general idea that there's a lot more to get used to when listening than when reading. So more re-listening and re-watching definitely makes sense in my book. Let's talk about the efficiency of repeating content. First, I just want to zoom out and look at this from a wide lens and repeat that old mantra, practice makes perfect. First, I just want to say that I believe it most certainly is the case that repeatedly listening to the same content will improve your ability to parse not only the sounds of that content, but also the meaning of that content. So let's just get that argument out of the way to begin with. In the act of re-listening to old content, you will build familiarity with the speaking styles found in that content. And I think this can definitely be hugely beneficial because for instance, you're definitely more likely to understand words spoken by a familiar voice than you would understand them when they're spoken by a stranger. So I think it's definitely a valid argument that repeating content at some level will help you build a base of content that you understand pretty well. And in my personal experience, I did grow to understand content that I repeated more often at a faster pace than content that I repeated less often. However, I do feel that once you understand the vast majority of the messages in a given piece of content, that then you are going to run into diminishing returns from the point of view of improving your meaning parsing ability. Which is to say that I think solely from the aspect of improving your ability to understand messages you hear in your target language, that it likely would be much better at this point to expose yourself to new content because you would be understanding many more new messages from that type of exposure. And I feel that the act of understanding a new message likely trains your brain in a different way than listening to a message that you are already expecting. With that said, that is not to say that I believe that continuing to repeat content past the point where you already understand the vast majority of that content has has no benefits, however. Through doing so, I'm sure you will be able to focus in on the particularities of that content, and you may be able to perhaps gain a deeper understanding of the messages being said and resolve the sounds you're parsing at greater magnification. And I will say there are many skills that seem to benefit greatly from dedicated practice with a small subset of that skill, such as a golfer practicing just the mechanics of their swing thousands of times until it reaches perfection, or a musician practicing the same part of a piece hundreds of times until they can hit each note just right. And when it comes to language learning, I do have the hunch that perhaps 
If one can maintain the focus and discipline necessary to listen to just a small piece of content, say of five or 10 minutes in length or so, in their target language a couple thousand times, that it may very well allow them to more quickly begin to parse their target language. And perhaps with even more repetition, allow them to very accurately nail down the sounds that they are hearing, which may lead to greatly improved pronunciation. I plan to make a video about this idea in the future and am even considering doing a little experiment with this myself, perhaps when I start learning German. So please subscribe to the channel if that's something you'd be interested in hearing about because that content will be coming soon. And leave a like on this video too while you're at it if you'd like. Anyways, in my opinion, the verdict is still out on how much more efficient the repetition of particular content is in language learning. Language learning is just repetition anyways. Even if you don't repeat specific content, you're still repeating the parsing of the sounds and meanings of many, many thousands of words. We currently just can't answer a question like, exactly how many times should I listen to a piece of content in order to perfectly min-max my language learning? And perhaps we will never be able to answer that question. And by we, I mean us humans. This is likely a simple problem for artificial general intelligence. Oh God, I'm scared to death, but somewhat optimistic about AGI. But regardless, hopefully sometime in the future, we can at least run some experiments within the Migaku community to shine some light on this question. Lastly, I must say that the vast majority of successful language learners I know or have heard about do repeat content at some level. But of those that I actually sort of know the ratio by which they repeat content, it seems that the vast majority of them prioritize new content with it making up at least if not well over 50% of the content they consume. Now that is not to say that there is any meaningful information that we can derive from this observation about efficiency though. But it does suggest, even if it is true that some of the arguments I have seen before stating that it's the most efficient to have repeated content make up the vast majority of your immersion are correct, that even if you don't follow that sort of strategy but you stick with it, that you can definitely expect to reach fluency. So in my opinion, since that is the case, it's probably your safest bet to think a lot more about your personal preferences than efficiency when deciding on your language learning regimen. Now that you've heard what I have to say about efficiency and that even I think that repeating content at some level is certainly more efficient, I want to also tell you that the best thing you can probably do in your own language learning is to not care very deeply about that information. Ultimately, as long as you are learning something new each day and immersing, you are getting better. And as I've said before in a video that dealt with the feeling that you are not improving, improvement will take some time to notice, so be patient and wait for it to become apparent before panicking and trying to ensure you're always doing the most efficient thing. My opinion is that preferences should be highly prioritized when it comes to immersion content. Although as I will say in the last section, I do at least recommend trying to repeat content in some form. It is clear to me that the most important component that will lead the vast majority of language learners to success is the proper prioritization of their preferences. And as I talked about in my last video when I told you about my friend Ahmed, finding your path that allows you to stay engaged in the long term is your your surefire way to success, just as Ahmed's was his. But I will say that I still think it's important to when possible incorporate the techniques that have been found to be efficient into our learning regimens in some capacity. Just as most of us would try to incorporate a newly discovered health food into our diet that didn't taste the best but was proven to help us live substantially longer. I feel that we must, in much the same way, try to at least incorporate some techniques and methods that seem to be the most efficient into our lives if and when possible. But let's say if someone ate too much of that health food that they would actually die. Then I think people would be rather careful about how much they attempted to eat. So in the same way, be careful to not eat too much efficiency or you might just end up causing your language learning dreams to die. Something I sometimes like to do was to spend a small amount of time at the beginning of my active listening, re-listening to a bit of old content. So for example, if I was going to be doing an hour of listening, I might spend 10 to 15 minutes re-listening to old content. But I wouldn't do that every day, and some days I would even do the entirety of my active listening with content I had already seen. I especially try to incorporate some type of repeated content into my active listening when I'm still new at a language. But overall, and especially when I begin to consider 
considerably improve at a language, I tend to mostly re-listen to previous content only in a passive manner. For example, listening to something while taking a walk, cooking, mowing the grass, or even at times taking a shower, among other activities. So basically, that's how I've always done it. So what do I think you should do? I definitely recommend repeating some content at some level regularity, if at all possible. And as I've said, this is something I always do in my language learning at some level. I also recommend that you try to listen to a bit of previous content when beginning your active immersion, much like I like to do. But perhaps if you're having trouble like I often did, sitting down and re-listening to old content, then I think you should prioritize what you find your preferences to be and not force yourself to actively listen to too much old content. And perhaps Perhaps you can try out the more passive strategy that I like to use as I start improving in a language. I am sure that at whatever level you incorporate repeated content into your routine, that you will at least retain some of the benefits. But above everything, remember to prioritize what's actually important, which is finding a way to engage with your target language that you mostly enjoy and can regularly continue. Okay guys, well that's it for today. Here's to hoping the video's not trash and that you found something useful in it. Tell me your position on this topic in the comments below because I'm genuinely curious about what you guys think because the verdict about how much repetition we should do is definitely still out. Also, if you're interested in helping us decide the direction of Migaku, joining the official Migaku Discord server, and gaining early access to Migaku software projects, including the Immerse with Migaku browser extension, which allows you to create instant audio cards from Netflix, among other bonus content, then please consider supporting Migaku on Patreon. As always, thank you so much to all my patrons. I couldn't do it without you. And of course, a special shout out to the $1 leech tier. I will repeatedly immerse myself in the leech pit this month and report back with the results. I wonder how much of their language I will learn. If you need support with an issue you're having or would like to join the Immerse With Me Gaku Reddit community, you can find those links below. If you would like a chance to win free special VIP access to the official Migaku Discord community and Migaku software projects, then please subscribe to the channel and leave a like and comment on this video. At the end of every month, I choose 15 people to get a free behind the scenes look at the community we're building. And that number will be increasing as new Patreon milestones are reached. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you found some value in today's video. See ya.